thank you for joining me here on mom talk for a, a devotions five day five today i hope you've been blessed and uh encouraging some of the previous uh devotions and if you do please let me know so today like last one we talked about joy holding on to your joy regardless what comes in your day regardless how that diaper gets so full and covered and everywhere keep your joy mamas let's do that we can do it through christ who strengthens us so i want to continue on that why do we want to keep our joy well well it has been said mothers set that th thermostat of the home the reason we say that's because people be do what they see you do really we are role models to our children that your children are seeing every day learning from you not just the words you say uh, not the words you and i say but even how we carry ourselves how we react to things and so i want to be an example of what that looks like do i always get it right no but this is why we're doing this so we can cry out to god and ask god to help us so today you and i want to continue setting that thermostat of joy in our home so i'll give you some practical examples that i use today uh for example for me it's important that i have worship music in our home it just i find that it just mm, sets a tone it sets a tone you know just have that song because the bible says singing spiritual songs and hymns to you to yourself right it keeps you in and and keeping it keeps yourself singing spiritual songs and um and psalms keeping yourself in the love of god right so look up that scripture because there's something about worship that keeps you flowing in the love of god and when we the love of god is never grumpy it's gonna have some some it's gonna release joy into it so maybe today if you've been struggling with having just the atmosphere in your home being grumpy and the children are being blah 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 make sure you help you start with worship music i've done this for years 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 and what a blessing actually before i even gave him breakfast i put on worship music for me <laughs> and for them i my toddlers i put worship music but i can maybe do a longer video to explain that too but i want to encourage you maybe one of the practical ways to set atmosphere today include worship music in your home because the scripture says god inhabits the praises of his people let the what comes out of our mouth today as we, we work to stay to be stay joyful let it be worship worship music let it be words of praise coming out of our mouth because we're filling our homes with it and we're saying uh uh this is what's going to come out of my my mouth no grumpy no rude no shouting no yelling but i'm going to be joyful because i am determined to walk according to the word of god and to exemplify that to my children so i hope this encourages you if you haven't been doing those worship music whether you sing whether i mean think fully for youtube youtube music or apple music whichever you you use just get some worship happening and teach those children that even when things are hard on something just happened and you want to lose it let's put on worship music let's just praise god because we all you know um because it's important to just give thanks to praise god it's another way that we we maintain that heart of joy in our heart in our, in our home instead of all the dark gloomy Ooh, that nobody wants to deal with in their home. So I hope this encourages you. Let me know uh, your comments below, what you're learning from it, what you got from it, what other things you want to add to this that maybe helps you keep joy throughout your day. What are those tips? Because I want to learn. And uh, let's pray. Lord, we just welcome you in our home, in our day as we go through today. Mother and your children, let your praises be on our lips and at lips of our children as we worship you in our day today in Jesus' name. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, subscribe, share, and encourage another mother today. And uh, and, and until next time, the next devotion, have a great day. Bye-bye.